Hey guys, AY Electronics Ahmed here. Today I am back with another project and this time I will be adding line following capability to this chassis. Uh, if you can recall, I uh, made this chassis into an obstacle avoider a while ago. You can press right here to see me do that. Now uh, I will add line following to it. I will be using this uh, line following PCB module that I had. Uh, I had this a while ago when I built a uh, line follower. You can of course use uh, these line follower modules. I bought these from SparkFun. They work really well. Uh, but there are two types of these uh, line following modules. There is the digital and the analog type. I really suggest that you do not buy the digital ones because they are much higher, harder to program. Uh, these are the analog ones and they are uh, very easy to use. You can use these. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take the top off of this chassis so that I can access all of the circuitry and I uh, will be able to mount my line following module. So let's get started. I will also remove uh, this switch so that it, uh, the wires will not annoy me while working. And now after I disconnect the ultrasonic sensor wires and the battery wires, the top should come right off. And now that the top is off, we are free to work on the wiring of the line following sensor. The first thing I am going to do is I will mount uh, the line following module. First I will connect. A wire. I have this connector here that connects right into it. So basically, there is a common positive and a common negative. These supply power to the infrared LEDs. And then we have these uh, three wires. These basically give analog outputs depending on the reflection of the lights on the receivers or in, on the infrared receivers. So depending on how dark the line is the values will change and using these values we can set ranges so that the robot will be able to distinguish a black line from a white line and it will follow the darker line. So to mount this I will be using some spacers that I have here. These I think are uh, half an inch spacers. I think I bought these off of Spike Fun. Uh, these are the perfect height so that the line sensor will be right above the ground and will not be touching the ground. So to mount these I will be using two screws. I will be mounting uh, this line following sensor on this groove right here on the chassis. I can move it until it's centered and then I will uh, use two nuts to support it in place. Alright guys, that is mounted on pl in place now and now we are ready to extend the wires so that we can reach the Arduino. I'll be using wires from this other connector I have here so that they will be of the same color. suggest that you solder these wires together, together so that they will not get loose. And then I will be using some electric tape to uh, seal the, uh, the connection. Alright, so I am done extending all of these cables. I will use some cable ties and I will pass them through to the old ring. So now it's time to make uh, the connections. Unfortunately, the wires from the obstacle avoidance project came off, so I'm gonna have to reconnect those first. Now that all the wires uh, from the H bridge are connected, it's time to connect the new wires for the line following sensor. So the ground will go to the ground of the Arduino. I'm 
unfortunately I'm gonna have to extend these wires a little bit more and I will be using some jumper cables to do that. Unfortunately the camera stopped recording so I am going to tell you what I have done. I have basically extended the wires of uh, the line follower and I connected them to A0, A1 and A2. And I connected the positive, the power and the ground to the positive and uh, to 5 volts and to the ground of the Arduino. And uh, I also uh, used the wires from these LEDs that I previously installed on the chassis and I connected them to pin 11 to be able to control them from the Arduino. I also used the cutoff heads of these jumper cables to secure the wires that were on the Arduino so that they would not come loose over time. And this is basically what I have done. Now I'll be connecting the ground of the LEDs on the bottom. Now I am done connecting the LEDs at the bottom. But before I do anything else, I want to double check that the obstacle avoidance is still working so that I'd make sure that I didn't mess up any of the wiring of the obstacle avoidance. So now I'm going to reconnect the batteries and the ultrasonic sensor. And now as you can see, when I flick the switch on, the wheels move, and if I put my hand, this wheel, these wheels change direction. So obstacle avoidance is working. Now let's move on to programming the line following so that this car will have obstacle avoidance and line following. But first I'm going to put the uh, top back on and I will clean up all of this wire mess and I will mount the edge bridge back in place. So let's do that now. Okay guys, so when I came to mount the top back in place, I found out it will not fit since the head of the jumper cables I'm using are too long, so I decided to remove the spacers on which the Arduino is mounted and I will mount the Arduino directly on the acrylic sheet. Okay guys, so I decided to use this black uh, battery connector to supply power to the Arduino instead of the one I had on since this one is at a right angle and is more suitable for the chassis. Okay, so now that everything is back in place, uh, this is it for the hardware, now it's time to move on to the software which will be in the next part of this series.